There was an article over at Saturday Down South that said that Tennessee is the next SEC East beast. This was Matt Hayes from Saturday Down South, and he says yes, because offense in college football these days wins championships. Now, I am curious your thoughts on the Tennessee Volunteers with Josh Heupel. Is this more of a a fun team? A you know they're going to be good, but will they be championship good kind of thing? What what are your thoughts on them? Uh, I don't know if I'm willing to say they're championship good, but I do like Josh Heupel. I like this team, and I think they have a chance to be really good. I I tend to agree that they can be really good. I think I don't know that Josh Heupel has ever put enough of an impetus on defense, right? And I think that's what scares me on this. And I don't know that Heupel is a fantastic recruiter. Like, that's the other part of this, is I I would like for him to prove it. He's always going to be able to score points with the guys that he gets, and he'll go after a certain type of guy. But I don't know that just because you're dangerous on offense, we saw... Their offense get shut down multiple times in his first season. Now, obviously, I expect them to continue to grow and whatnot, but we saw it whenever they would go up against really good defensive teams at UCF. The same thing kind of happened there. I I think that Tennessee can continue to build with Josh Heupel. And, and don't get me wrong, he's still a young head coach. I just, I wonder about this, right? Uh, he said, you know, um, despite what Georgia did last season with one of the greatest defenses in the past three decades, there is no denying the critical importance of scoring points. A lot of points. Uh, Tennessee Josh Heupel said, we want, uh, we want to force defenses to react to us. So Matt Hayes said, get ready for more pressure from the Tennessee offense. Enough pressure to potentially become the next SEC East team trading blows with Alabama in the first week of December. He said the concept that was laughable merely two seasons ago can no longer be denied. Tennessee is a threat again in the SEC because the Vols will have one of the two best offenses in the conference. Now, it, that's that's great when you when you hit on the quarterback, right? And he has certainly hit on the quarterback with Hendon Hooker. I just, I don't know. It, he starts naming off, you know, LSU in 2019, Alabama in 2020, etc. He's a Florida in 2020 had an offense that was uh, statistically as good or better than any in school history. And it said it was three blown defensive stands uh, away from beating Alabama in the SEC championship game in 2020. But here's the deal. Like, those are blown defensive stands. If you continue to put so much pressure on your offense to have to score every game, they're not going to be able to do it every time. Even LSU in that 2019 season had a 23-20 to game against Auburn. Uh, until I see something from the defensive side for Tennessee... Like, I think they're going to be really good. I just don't know that they're going to be championship contender good. Do you kind of agree with that? Uh, yeah, I, I, I would stand by Like I said, I think they could be good, just what you said. I, winning the championship's hard. Yeah. Now, on the, on the other page, could they catch lightning in a bottle like that LSU team did one day? Maybe. Yeah, Ed Ordron did it. Why the hell can't Josh Heupel? Josh Heupel, yeah. <laughs> you are not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.